Good morning, Mr. Potter. Good morning to you, sir. I come to lodge a complaint to you now, sir. I plant a piece of red, piece of red, Sally Land, Mary Jane, and Pigeon come eat it out, sir. Come out of me yard, me never call you, yeah. Come out of me yard, me never call you, yeah. For you, who strength money, not done pay for. This was accompanied by the Johnny Cooper rhythm a functional creation of the coopers who made barrels for storing molasses and for aging rum for local consumption and for export. This I didn't know it. I was told this some years ago by my late brother Dwight. The rhythm is rather similar to the words of the children's rhythm game, Mosquito one, Mosquito two, Mosquito jump in a hot kalaloo. An instrumental counterpart of the bass rhythm use of the male voice mentioned before is a rumba box, known variously in the Caribbean as the marimba box or the marimbula, a descendant of the African thumb piano, which is called variously the likembe, the kalimba in southern Africa, or the sansa in the western countries. This bass version has sprung metal keys for which the box acts as a resonator. These keys are plucked by the player who is seated on the instrument itself. Heard in village bands, the instrument accompanies mentor songs and quadrille and country dances. And this leads us to look at mentor. It was with the evolution of a rich, vibrant, and unique Creole culture in the 19th century that the fifth or broader figure was added, this figure being mentor. Before it came here, it had only four figures. As a dance form, mentor incorporates pelvic circling, fainting and dipping, and a balanced step. As a song form, Mentor is full of social commentary, censure, and recrimination in a vehicle of humor, touching on many areas that are almost taboo in the context of polite speech. Instrumentally, Mentor is a type of rhythmic organization employing syncopated melodies and the polyrhythms of traditional banjos, rumba boxes, shakas, drums, and rhythm sticks. Its rhythms are related to patterns originating in West Africa, which have developed into the Gumbe of the Bahamas, the Calypso of the Eastern Caribbean, the Rumba of Cuba, the Merengue of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and the Bomba of Puerto Rico, and many others. Instrumentation is very flexible. There being both commercially acquired instruments and those which are homemade or improvised. By the end of the 19th century, Mento had developed into the first dance music to enjoy national popularity, representing the product of what had started in the late 17th century. This process saw many cultural inputs undergoing transformation through acceptance and rejection. And we now find mentorized versions of work songs, ring play, dinky mini, gere, popular songs, North American country and western, and rhythm and blues songs, and curiously enough, hymns of both the orthodox and non-conformist churches. mention that that is not an example from my own collection. It was from the collection of the late Edna Vassal from a workshop that we had in St. Catherine in 1972 and I'm very glad to see her daughter Sonia in the audience. Jamaican drums and percussion instruments. Drums are unfortunately regarded as noisemakers and as a drummer I get very very distressed that whenever my drums are set up, somebody has to interfere with them. They must 
beat the drum. The drum plays a beat, but you play it, you don't beat it and subject it to all kinds of abuse. Those players who slap and beat indiscriminately on them have little understanding of the subtle cadences and the efforts made in developing drumming styles and techniques that create rhythms that are perfectly suited to movement and appropriate to the moment. Sensitivity to all of this must be a consideration not often appreciated by the untutored ear. To satisfy the demands of the intangible heritage, that is, how people express themselves, be it in speech, music, dance, or in other forms, the tangible heritage, that is, drums and other musical instruments, artifacts, and so on, must be carefully crafted. Drums are the primary instruments of rhythm, and the range of drums in the island is very wide, from the specially constructed to the rather simple improvised instruments. The materials from which the drums are made are usually those found upon the land or easily accessible within the environment. Some are carved out of solid logs, usually from trees which have a natural resonance. Others are made of shaped strips of wood or barrel staves held together by metal hoops and fittings for tuning. Still others are made from various hollow vessels and utensils which are used as substitutes for constructed drums. They come in a variety of shapes, cylindrical, tapered, or square, and vary in size from those which are a few centimeters in diameter to those which are more than a meter tall and a meter in diameter. Jamaican drums may be single-headed, open-ended, or double-headed with skins at both ends. Drum heads are fixed to the bodies in various ways, nailed to rims, tied with withs, known in Jamaica as whis, affixed by pegs which can be pushed in or out of the body to regulate tension, attached to a hoop or a flesh ring which is held in place by cords, or it may be fitted to a frame. The techniques of playing are chosen according to the sonorities of the drum, that is, the natural tone or pitch of the stretched skin and the resonating chamber provided by the body of the instrument. Some are held in the armpit, some are suspended from the neck, some are held between the knees while others are straddled and played with the hands and with the feet, which act as dampers. There are hand-played and stick-played drums. In applying the hand, one may use the cupped hand, the palm, the fingers and palm, the base of the palm, or the thumb. Drums are most often played in pairs to ensure the desired pitch contrast and gender relationship. A family or battery of drums usually consists of a male, low-pitched instrument on which is played a characteristic, steady, unchanging pattern and the higher pitch female lead drum, which speaks phrases and sentences, cuts and breaks, combinations of rhythm patterns that guide steps and variations. So women, we control. <laughs> the range of drums. The drum most commonly found in the island is the rattler, known in various regions and in various ensembles as the rattling, kittling, kettle, or kette drum. It is a double-headed instrument with a body made from shaped strips of wood, empty oil or paint tins with goat skin heads. The heads are attached to skin-wrapped metal rings or hoops made of whisks, laced together across the body of the drum by cords in W, Y, and X-shaped patterns. These cords, wrapped alternately over and under the rings, also serve to tune the heads the rattler may vary in size from 30 centimeters to 45 centimeters in diameter and may or may not have a snare, that is, one or two lengths of wire stretched across the head, which is not being played by two slender sticks. It's carried in the armpit or suspended from the neck and is used for revival observances, Brookings party celebrations, Jankuna processionals, some maypole dances, and Gary and other death celebrations. 
It is played as a lead instrument in conjunction with the bass drum, which is similarly constructed, but larger, and played with one padded stick. This family of drums is not unlike military-type European drums and those instruments used to accompany European folk dances. And our first example is brookins.